persuaded that the lady who had removed the chair from where Dr. William Ruto was supposed to sit should be shown the door. And when the president came to learn of it, he said, no, we must reconcile with the reality that is behind us. That lady who was in protocol should remain there and be promoted. And as we speak today, she walks around the president. Again, when the president and his family and their belongings were thrown out of the official residence of the, of the deputy president in Mombasa, most of us were persuaded that those who had participated in throwing out his belongings should be shown the door. Again, he insisted that should not be the case. So what I'm trying to say is that the new administration is one that is persuaded that we need to reconcile the country. And therefore, we want to plead and persuade all leaders also to reconcile with the truth and the reality. Because even as we reconcile with God and men, we also need to reconcile with the truth. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Let everybody also, as we reconcile with God and with men, start by reconciling with the truth. I was very impressed the other day to see the women rep of Nairobi, Honorable Pasaris, reconciling with the truth in Nairobi that 70% of the people she leads live in the slums. And it would not be wise for her as a leader to oppose a program that is going to remove the people she leads from the slums to dignity. We are therefore asking everybody, as we reconcile with God and with men, let us also reconcile with truth and reality. Your Excellency, when you were sitting there, you were a bit concerned. But your Excellency, you and I also need to reconcile with the Kemani Chongwa because he has not been very nice to us. You know, Kemani Chongwa was in Alliance High School. Anytime we have an occasion and he is given an opportunity to speak, because the President and I were in some schools who many people don't want to mention or think about, he tries to intimidate the president and I, despite the fact that we are seniors, that he was in Alliance High School. Lakini sasa wewe dugu yangu kimani ichoma. Hata kama ulikuwa Alliance na mimi sikuwa huko, huniheshimu kidogo. Kwa sababu hiyo Alliance yako hiyo. They say that the people from Alliance boys and girls are top. Mimi niingia hiyo Alliance yako Alliance girls. Nikachanganya mtoto ya mwenyewe, nikaweka box ni bibi yangu leo. So between me and these guys who went to Alliance, who is more superior? Sasa <laughs> Na na zikuweka a box peke yake for the last 35 years ako kwa hiyo box. Finally your excellency before I call you I want to commend the choir. Ile ya Osoro. So, Osoro na yo timu yako, tukimaliza munione nyuma ya hema. But not the bigger team, that one, yo badu. Yo iko, iko chini kidogo, so Osoro, I'll talk to Pastor Dokas, we consider whether during our wedding anniversary you can come and perform. Lakini, mjumbe wetu moja hapo, alikuwa na hitu wakagushia, ameniangusha. Alikuwa hana uniform. Mi najua uchaguzi likuwa ngumu, lakini huja ishiwa hiyo kiasi. So we unione mwisho wa mwezi ni kupanga uniform. So that you don't embarrass the people of Nyeri. So your Excellency, we, we, we are happy today. It's a happy moment for the country. With the era of reconciliation and forgiveness that you have led us as our leader. And all of us are persuaded and we want to move to that direction. I therefore request everyone to be upstanding as you help me to usher in the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellency.
Asante sana, Bwana Deputy President. Please, let's take our seats. Thank you very much. Um, all my good friends and leaders from